Hello everybody and welcome back to another app review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dark Sky. And Dark Sky is my personal favorite weather app for its hyper accurate local weather forecasts. If you hop right in the app here you'll see right in the center of the screen you got this nice meter which will show you the intensity of the rain over the next hour. You'll see below it it'll tell you exactly when it's going to start raining or when it's going to stop raining. You'll see right in the middle here, you got your current temperature as well as if it's rising or falling. You got the current condition, you got the high, you got the low. You tap on that, you'll see you got your temperature, the wind in its direction, the humidity, dew point, barometric pressure, visibility, UV index. See, we got notifications. It can send you a notification at 7 a.m. telling you the weather conditions for the day. Custom alerts, which is probably the best part of the app here, it'll send you a notification right before it starts raining or right before it stops raining. You got your severe weather alerts, you got your do not disturb, you can report your own weather here, help convert the service. Scroll down here, you can see your hourly forecast, switch that between precipitation, temperature, wind, humidity, and UV index. See exactly when the sun will set. Scroll over to the left here. If that'll work, you can see the uh, radar. Play that down in the corner here, and you can see that'll play throughout the hours. Switch that to temperature or precipitation. You can see over here to the right, you can get your weekly forecast. You can click on any day. You'll see more information about the particular day. You can switch that between all of the uh, available options down there. You can see the sunset. Go back over. You click on the top here and search for a particular location. Go to your current location, where you can see an interesting storm across the world. You click on settings here, and you can. Oops, that's not settings. Click on settings up the top here. Still not settings. We're having some trouble here. Let's go back. Settings. You can see units. Feels like temperature for the Today Center widget. You can go and disable Google Analytics. You can do all that. If you scroll down here. You can see you do have a widget right here with the feels like temperature and the current conditions for the hour. Overall, it's just a really well polished app. On a scale of one to five, I'd definitely give it a five stars. It's an app I always like to have on the phone. I like being able to get a notification right before it starts raining so you have time to get inside, put stuff away, all that. Works really well, very accurate. Definitely recommend it. Well worth the price for me personally. It all depends on how much you care about weather plenty of other good weather apps in the app store, but this, this one continues to be my favorite out of all of them.